Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today, we'll be exploring the top 10 tourist attractions in the incredible city of New York. This city is filled with iconic landmarks, museums, and neighborhoods that are sure to take your breath away. So without any further ado, smash the like button and let's begin. Coming in at number 10 is the Empire State Building, one of the most iconic buildings in the world. Located in Midtown Manhattan, the building was completed in 1931 and stands at 1,454 feet tall, making it one of the tallest buildings in the city. Visitors to the Empire State Building can take a high-speed elevator ride to the 86th floor observation deck, which offers stunning 360-degree views of the city. On a clear day, you can see up to 80 miles away. For an even more breathtaking experience, visitors can opt to visit the 102nd floor observation deck, which offers unobstructed views of the city and beyond. In addition to the observation decks, the Empire State Building also features exhibits on its history, construction, and iconic status in popular culture. If you're looking for a truly unique experience, consider visiting the Empire State Building at night. The building's colorful lights make it a stunning sight to behold, and it's a popular spot for romantic proposals and memorable photos. The Empire State Building is a must-visit attraction for anyone visiting New York City, and is sure to leave a lasting impression. Next up at number 9 is the Metropolitan Museum of Art, also known as, The Met, is one of the world's largest and most comprehensive art museums. Located in the Upper East Side of Manhattan, The Met is home to over 2 million works of art spanning 5,000 years of world culture. The museum's collection includes works from ancient Egypt, Greece, and Rome, as well as European paintings, American art, and contemporary works. Highlights of the collection include Vincent van Gogh's, Starry Night, Emanuel Leutzer's, Washington Crossing the Delaware, and the Egyptian Temple of Denda. Visitors can spend hours exploring the museum's vast collection, but there are a few must-see exhibits. The Costume Institute, which features a collection of over 35,000 costumes and accessories, is a popular attraction. The American Wing, which houses the museum's collection of American art and decorative arts, is also a must-visit. With its vast collection and diverse array of exhibits and programs, the Metropolitan Museum of Art is a must-visit attraction for anyone interested in art and culture. At number 8, we have Times Square. Located in the heart of Midtown Manhattan, Times Square is one of the most iconic and vibrant areas of New York City. Known as, the crossroads of the world, Times Square is a bustling commercial and entertainment district that attracts millions of visitors each year. The area is famous for its bright lights and billboards, which illuminate the streets 24 hours a day. Visitors can take a stroll through the area and see the famous billboards advertising everything from Broadway shows to consumer products. Visitors can also enjoy a variety of dining options, ranging from street vendors to upscale restaurants. The TKTS booth, located in the center of Times Square, offers discounted tickets to Broadway shows, while the nearby Madame Tussauds Wax Museum features lifelike wax figures of celebrities. Times Square is also a popular destination for events and celebrations, such as the infamous New Year's Eve Ball Drop and Countdown. The annual New Year's Eve Ball Drop, which sees thousands of revelers gather in the area to ring in the new year, is one of the most famous celebrations in the world. Whether you're looking to shop, dine, or simply soak in the atmosphere, Times Square is a must-visit attraction for anyone visiting New York City. Coming in at number 7 is the Statue of Liberty. The Statue of Liberty is one of the most iconic symbols of the United States, and a must-visit attraction for anyone traveling to New York City. The statue, which stands on Liberty Island in New York Harbor, was gifted to the United States by France in 1886 as a symbol of friendship and freedom. Visitors can take a ferry to Liberty Island to see the statue up close, or view it from afar from Battery Park or other vantage points along the harbor. Inside the pedestal of the statue, visitors can explore the museum, which features exhibits on the history and significance of the statue. Visitors can also climb the 354 steps to the top of the pedestal for stunning views of the harbor and the surrounding area. For an even more memorable experience, visitors can purchase tickets to climb to the crown of the statue, which offers even more breathtaking views of the city. The Statue of Liberty is not only a symbol of American freedom, but a symbol of hope and opportunity for people around the world. A visit to the statue is a must-do for anyone visiting New York City. At number 6, we have the 9-11 Memorial and Museum. The 9-11 Memorial and Museum is a somber but important tribute to the victims of the September 11, 2001 terrorist attacks on the World Trade Center. The Memorial and Museum are located at the former site of the Twin Towers in Lower Manhattan, and are a powerful reminder of the impact that the attacks had on New York City and the world. The pools are surrounded by a plaza with hundreds of trees and bronze panels inscribed with the names of the nearly 3,000 people who lost their lives in the attacks. The museum also features multimedia displays and interactive exhibits that provide a deeper understanding of the impact of the attacks on New York City, the United States, and the world. 
The museum's centerpiece is a large, two-story space that houses a portion of the original World Trade Center foundation and steel columns. A visit to the 9-11 Memorial and Museum is a poignant and powerful experience that honors the memory of those who lost their lives in the attacks, while also providing insight into the resilience and strength of New York City and its people. Coming in at number 5 is Central Park. Central Park is an oasis in the heart of New York City, and one of the most famous parks in the world. The park covers 843 acres in the center of Manhattan and features a variety of attractions, including lakes, gardens, playgrounds, and cultural institutions. One of the most iconic features of Central Park is the Central Park Zoo, which is home to a variety of animals, including penguins, sea lions, and snow leopards. Central Park also features several lakes and ponds, including the famous Central Park Lake, which is a popular spot for boating in the warmer months. Visitors can rent rowboats or take a gondola ride for a romantic and leisurely tour of the lake. In the winter months, visitors can go ice skating at the Wallman Rink or take a carriage ride through the park. Whether you're looking for outdoor adventure, cultural experiences, or just a peaceful escape from the city, Central Park has something for everyone. At number 4, we have the High Line. The High Line is a unique public park that stretches 1.5 miles along the west side of Manhattan, from Gansevoort Street in the Meatpacking District to West 34th Street in the Hudson Yards neighborhood. What makes this park so unique is that it is built on an elevated rail line that was originally constructed in the 1930s to transport goods along Manhattan's west side. After the rail line fell into disuse in the 1980s, it was nearly demolished until a group of local residents and activists came together to advocate for its preservation and repurposing as a public park. Today, the High Line is one of the most popular attractions in New York City, offering visitors a unique and elevated perspective of the city. The park is designed as a linear garden and features a variety of plantings, including native grasses, wildflowers, and trees. Visitors can stroll along the elevated walkway and take in panoramic views of the city skyline, the Hudson River, and the surrounding neighborhoods. One of the most unique features of the High Line is the 10th Avenue Square, a public plaza that features a large amphitheater-like seating area that offers sweeping views of the city. Visiting the High Line is a unique and memorable experience that offers a one-of-a-kind perspective of New York City. At number 3, we have the iconic Brooklyn Bridge. The Brooklyn Bridge is one of the most iconic landmarks in New York City and one of the oldest suspension bridges in the United States. Completed in 1883, the bridge spans the East River, connecting the boroughs of Manhattan and Brooklyn. The bridge is a marvel of engineering and design, with its distinctive Gothic arches and suspension cables. Visitors to the Brooklyn Bridge can walk or bike across the pedestrian walkway, which offers breathtaking views of the Manhattan skyline and the surrounding waterways. Along the way, visitors can take in the intricate details of the bridge's design, including its decorative towers and intricate ironwork. There are also several scenic lookout points where visitors can stop and take in the stunning views. One of the most popular times to visit the Brooklyn Bridge is at sunset, when the sky is lit up with orange and pink hues and the city comes alive with the lights of thousands of buildings. It's a truly magical experience that shouldn't be missed. Coming in at number 2 is the Broadway Theatre District. The Broadway Theatre District is one of the most iconic and exciting parts of New York City, home to some of the world's most famous theatres and the best shows in the world. Located in Midtown Manhattan, the district is known for its dazzling marquees, colorful billboards, and bustling crowds. Broadway is synonymous with theatre and has been a cultural institution in New York City for over a century. It's the place to go for anyone who loves the performing arts, and it attracts visitors from all over the world. The district is home to more than 40 theatres, each with its own unique history and style. Some of the most famous theatres include the Schubert Theatre, the Majestic Theatre, and the Imperial Theatre, all of which have hosted countless hit shows over the years. In addition to the theatres, the district is also home to a wide variety of restaurants, bars, and other entertainment venues. Visitors can grab a bite to eat before or after the show, or enjoy a drink at one of the many bars and lounges in the area. Whether you're a theatre buff or just looking for a fun night out in the city, the Broadway Theatre District is an essential destination that offers a one-of-a-kind experience you won't find anywhere else. And finally, at the top of our list at number one, we have the One World Trade Center. The One World Trade Center, also known as the Freedom Tower, is the tallest building in the Western Hemisphere and a symbol of hope, resilience, and progress in the wake of the September 11th attacks. Located in Lower Manhattan, the tower stands at 1,776 feet tall and is a testament to the strength and spirit of New York City. The One World Trade Center was completed in 2014 and features a sleek, modern design that incorporates elements of the original Twin Towers, including a glass facade that reflects the changing sky and surrounding buildings. The tower is also home to several world-class offices, restaurants, and observation decks that offer unparalleled views of the city. 
Visitors to the One World Trade Center can take a guided tour that explores the history and significance of the building, as well as the events of 9-11 and the rebuilding process that followed. One of the highlights of the One World Trade Center is the observation deck, known as the One World Observatory. Located on the 100th, 101 stone, and 102nd floors, the observatory offers panoramic views of New York City that stretch for miles in every direction. In addition to the observation deck, the One World Trade Center also features several restaurants and cafes that offer a variety of dining options, from casual snacks to fine dining experiences. There is also a shopping mall located on the lower levels of the tower, featuring a variety of retail shops and specialty stores. The One World Trade Center is not only a must-visit destination for anyone visiting New York City, but it also serves as a powerful symbol of the city's resilience and strength. And there you have it, our top 10 tourist attractions in New York City. From the iconic Empire State Building to the poignant 9-11 Memorial and Museum, there's no shortage of things to see and do in this incredible city. We hope you enjoyed this countdown and that it inspires you to plan your own trip to New York City. If you've enjoyed the video, please give us a like and sub. It really does help the channel tremendously. Thank you for watching, and safe travels.